Hey y'all, I'm Sarah. I am a junior at High Point University and I am also a voyager on the 128th voyage of semester at sea, spring 2020. <laughs> it is Saturday night, it is December 28th and we embark in Mexico on the 4th of January. So it's literally a week away, two days. So in literally a week, I'm going to be in my cabin with my best friend because she's going with me and we're gonna be on a ship for four months. What? I'm literally so excited. <laughs> so as I'm going into this process, like I still don't believe I'm actually gonna be on semester at sea for four and a half-ish months of my life. Like it just hasn't clicked my head yet. Like I think I'm still going back to high point. It's gonna take my normal load of classes, but no, I'm gonna be on a ship for four months and that's a lot to process. And with all that process comes packing. And it's a really, really big ordeal to pack for such a long period of time. Cause like, you feel like you have to have absolutely everything that you need while you're on the ship. Cause like, you don't know how reliable some ports are gonna be when it comes to like finding women's products such as tampons or even like, just like bathing products like deodorant or body wash or anything like that that we have here, at least in the United States. And so to feel so prepared for that, it's a big challenge. This isn't my first rodeo being abroad for more than four months at a time because before I started college, I took a gap year where I visited Romania, Italy, Botswana, and South Africa, where I interned as a journalist and I worked on conservation camps, I worked with refugees in Southern Italy, which was like the most amazing experience. So I'm kind of basing how I'm packing for semester at sea based on that experience from about two and a half years ago. So I have watched a lot of semester at sea packing videos in preparation to do not only the packing itself, but to make my own packing video because I made a pact with myself that I would try to record as much as I can of semester at sea because last time I thought I said I was going to do that when I was abroad and it didn't happen and I have a really half-assed journal to show for that. So <laughs> this time I'm actually going to try really hard, especially since we're not going to have a lot of Wi-Fi on the ship, so I'm going to take videos I'm going to write and I'm saying this now and I hopefully I stick through with it. New Year's resolution? <laughs> when I was abroad I definitely feel like I overpacked for that trip just because like I ended up not wearing a lot of the business attire that I had even though I was interning which was kind of weird it was just very casual and I didn't end up wearing a lot of like the dresses and just like other minimal things I thought I was going to need. So hopefully using my past experience, I'm gonna make my best judgment for this trip so I don't have to overpack. So semester at sea, they let you take on two big bags. They recommend you do a duffel bag. And I have two duffel bags, which are like really big. I'm not sure how many liters it is, but it's pretty big. And the only issue with them is that they don't have any wheels. So I'm gonna be like dragging them with my hands for some parts, which is totally fine. Cause you only do that really to get on the ship and off the ship. But even then they have a service where like they take your bags and you check in and your bags meet you at your door in your cabin. So it's not even that big of a deal. Best Red Sea does recommend that you choose a bag that um, can like, bleh. Semester at Sea does recommend that you choose a bag that can be easily smushed or like placed somewhere that's easy and out of the way because the cabins, they're not going to be that big and it's going to be an adjustment, but we're going to make it work. The good thing about my bags is that because they have no wheels, it's literally just a bag, they can be smushed up into like a teeny ball. So like, I'm just gonna store them in like a drawer or something and just call it a day. The duffels that I have, they're the exact same. So one of them is going to be allotted specifically just for clothes and shoes and cause I, I like to wear clothes, I like to work out a lot. So I'm gonna be bringing a lot of athletic wear and then you have to balance that with clothes that are appropriate for the countries. So. One bag is just gonna be entirely for clothes. And the other bag, I am bringing a lot of snacks because everyone's like, bring snacks, and I'm like, okay. So I have a lot of snacks. I have my coffee creamer because I want coffee and I heard that even though the coffee's not that good on the ship, you're gonna want it. So, and I can have my coffee without my creamer because I like my coffee sweet, <laughs> so. I have like things like Nutella because I'm not that huge on peanut butter. So like I opted for like a different kind of spread and I have things just like chips and like Cheetos and, um, Jesus, I don't know, just a lot of stuff. And I mainly brought things I think that I would crave the most while I'm at sea that you probably can't find in other countries. So hopefully I have the right judgment on that and hopefully I don't go through them on the first month. 
knowing me, it might happen. <laughs> So in that other duffel, along with my snacks, is gonna be like a lot of my um, toiletries, like shampoo, conditioner, body wash, um, laundry detergent, cause I'm planning to do some of my own laundry in my cabin and just hang it up. Cause I have trust issues with laundry. So like, I like to hang up a lot of my own blouses. So I know that if I send my laundry through, through semester at sea, it might not come back the way I want it to come back. So I'm just gonna do a lot of my own laundry, but send off the things I don't necessarily care that deeply about, just like ease of access. So in that duffel with my snacks and all my toiletries, I'm bringing a lot of like organizing things. Like I'm bringing something that can help me dry my clothes is like a bunch of little clips on it. So that's gonna be super helpful, I think. Um, I'm bringing like an over the shower spout thing um, organizer for me and my roommate, Eleanor. Um, so we can organize our stuff through there. And I'm bringing a lot of like just nifty things like that purely for like organizational purposes. Cause I'm not a very organized person. So hopefully through these organizational things, I will be able to stay more on track with my life and not lose things. Cause watch me, watch me lose something important. Like my passport. God, no, let's not. So that's like about it for my big duffels. I'm bringing two other bags. Um, one of the bags isn't actually gonna be packed. It's just like a little pouch and inside this pouch is a duffel bag, which is great because like it's super compact and I can use it on just like um, field programs or just when I'm doing things like off of my own. So it'd be really good just like keep stuff if it won't fit in my backpack, which is the other bag I'm bringing. So this is the backpack that I am bringing on semester at sea. It's a little narrow. My laptop fits in it, so that's really good. So this is probably gonna be my day bag and just stuff that I bring on small excursions and just like Maybe even to class. I'm trying to find like a little tote bag to bring to class just because I just, I like to like have the ease of access just like carrying like a person on my shoulders. So if I need to get like a card or something like that, I just like, here it is, you're welcome. So, <laughs> oh wow. So, um, so hopefully I will find one of those and bring it along just for ship life and stuff. And I'm also bringing along this little pouch cause it's pretty spacious actually. There's like a little pocket in here and you can just put stuff inside obviously because that's what the pouch does but this thing has been with me through a lot of stuff so i trust it enough just for like small like little day trips or whatever if i don't want to bring my whole bag so well without any further ado send start packing woo <laughs> Oh, before I start packing, to pack my clothes at least and probably maybe a few other things like shoes and stuff, I, well, I'm Jewish. Happy Hanukkah, guys. But um, for Hanukkah, my mom got me these vacuum storage bags where basically you have it and you take the thing and you can pump it. <laughs> so I'm bringing these for the sake of space so it could just be vacuum sealed into something smaller. So like I'm bringing my own blanket just because it's like a little taste of home. It's, it's this, I love it. It's my sorority blanket. So I'm bringing her with me and I am also bringing probably like a little stuffed animal just for something just like comforting home. No, you just need your pet Pua pig with you when you're on a semester at sea, especially since I'm gonna be in Southeast Asia, even though it's like, Oceania, where Moana's from, is close enough. It's geographically close. So Pooh is coming with me at the sea, which is ironic because he didn't end up liking the sea. Ha ha ha. Okay, that's that's so cringy. In addition to my vacuum seal bags, my blanket, and Pua, <laughs> I am bringing these um, little storage bags. This is basically be for like clothes, like my underwear, my socks, because I always blue socks wherever I go. Don't know why. I don't think it's just me. It's just a sock thing, you know? So I'm bringing these just so I don't lose socks because I don't want to lose socks. And they all range in size. So like, obviously this is a smaller one and this one, you know, is bigger than my face. So that's kind of nice. And it has like a little net thing. <laughs> so that's cool. So I'm bringing that stuff and now we're going to start packing. <laughs> she's heavy okay so these are the duffels that i'm bringing they're pretty and purple and they're pretty big you can stuff them pretty well so i'm not that concerned for space what i am concerned about though is me overpacking because i have a lot of space so here's hoping i don't do that so one of them is already pretty packed just because 
I, I'm a person, like, when I travel, I usually pack and unpack and pack and unpack and pack and unpack and pack again, then unpack one more time, then repack again before I know I'm, like, officially, like, ready to go. And that's kind of what's happening with my snack duffel. It's really cockeyed, so I have to, like, redo it because, like, I don't want my snacks to get ruined. They're not my snacks. <laughs> and the other one, I've already started to pack a few of my clothes. I generally wear here at home in Florida. In this, I have a bunch of scarves and sweaters. And the scarves are really good because they're very multi-purposeful. That's a word, right? Yeah, <laughs> so um, I can use them if I get cold or if I um, need to cover my head for any reason in countries when I'm going to like religious temples or whatnot. And over here in this duffel, which I packed terribly, sorry mom, um, I have all my snacks, hot peep to Nutella, can't wait to eat you. Um, and I have like my school supplies, some extra hangers, my fold up jacket, um, my, my um, toiletries, some Q-tips, some heels, some shoes I'm not gonna wear. Um, and just like no extra stuff, toothbrush, toothpaste, Oh, this is the organizer thing that I was talking about for the shower because like it has like a little hanger and you can, and you can like clip your clothes on there. So that's kind of nifty, right? Okay, cool. Um, and I have like all my school supplies and okay, this, it slaps. It is so good. And you know, my cheap off-brand powdered creamer. Yay. I'm also bringing my own soap and just like some hand sanitizer that spray a laundry bag it's really cute and just some like other sanitary stuff that's easy to transport with me don't know why they're in with the snacks but they are and that's fine another thing that i did is i don't want my snacks to get ruined so i put them in this container so i think my snack container is going to be kind of multi-purposeful so like if i run out of snacks or if I just like want to do my own laundry because the sinks are kind of small and I don't want to make a mess because Eleanor will kill me. I love you, baby. But, um, so like uh, the bottom of that box, it has like ridges. So like I can actually put a little bit of water and soap in there or my detergent in there and I can like scrub my clothes against the ridges so they get clean. So gotta think guys. Okay, so we all know this is going to be a huge adventure and it's going to be so much fun and I'm so excited. But we're also on the ship to take classes. Wow, what a concept. So I am a person, I like to take a lot of notes on my laptop and I'm usually a Google Drive person. Like my entire life is probably organized in Google Drive, but we're not going to have a lot of Wi-Fi, if any, really at all. So I have to opt for um, Microsoft Word, which will be fine. I'll just organize it later after semester C, it's okay. Okay. But um, I'm also gonna just bring like a few just like normal like note taking things for classes. It's so, like I'm bringing um, one five star three subject notebook and a um, folder just for like any loose leaf papers and stuff. And I've got them green because green is color of my sorority. I'm in Kappa Delta, gotta love it. Um, in addition to, oh, oh, oh my God. Hey, baby Yoda, how are you? My God, you're so cute. You're a sticker, it's gonna go on my water bottle. Oh, so cute. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, in addition to this, I am also bringing just like a little planner. So hopefully my entire life will get planned because of this, because I'm a forgetful person. Um, I am also bringing these like little sticky notes just for like classes and stuff. They're really cute. Look, it's like luggage. Oh my God. And the case is cute too. Um, these are my books. They're not all the books that I need because I'm getting a few of my books online but they're just like some things because I really prefer to do all my classwork like through textbooks because I can't read online for long periods of time. So I'm opting for a few just for the sake of space. And another thing about semester at C is that they say a lot of the classrooms don't actually have desks or like places to sit. So you should bring a hard surface thing. So my aunt, a while back, I've been saving this for a great time to use and I finally found the time. Thank you so much, Aunt Deborah props to you um i have this um notebook little thing so it's like it's a clipboard and then inside of it there's like notepads or like no pages so i can like have a flat surface to write on and i can also take notes of it if i don't want to carry around my notebook so this is going to be a real blessing thank you so much and of course i bring like your standard like pens and pencils and just stuff like that so that's going to be really good another housekeeping thing that i've heard about semester at sea is that you should have your own water bottle um 
as much as I wanted a Hydro Flask, I don't have Hydro Flask money. So we opted for Simply Modern or Southern Modern, don't really know. But it was like, a, it, this is like basically the same quality as a Hydro Flask, but it's um, like half the price and it's still pretty big. And instead of like the like twist off lid, like where you, just, like, where you drink like that, it comes with this. So that's kind of nice. And because of two straws and I think this is going to be a big lifesaver because water, of course, is, it's like, even though you're in the middle of the ocean, it's a scarce commodity because you're surrounded by ocean water, not fresh water. So um, being able to drink water and like not have to like use cups as like waste or anything like that, because I've, I read you cannot get glasses and stuff when it's not meal time because they take all that stuff away. So if you don't have a water bottle, you don't got water. Unless you have a water bottle, just like a plastic water bottle, I feel like people will just judge you. So we're just gonna have a normal water bottle. Okay, now for the actual packing part of this video. So I'm bringing not a lot of stuff, but a lot of stuff. And a lot of my stuff is going to be clothes. And I feel like that's the main thing that this video should be focused on, at least from this point on, just because you need to make sure you have the proper clothes so like you're prepared in whatever country you're at. Like if you're in like a more conservative dressing country or if you're in like a hot country where you can dress a little bit like not as conservative you need to be able to like have all those things and like on my voyage um when i'm in japan and china it's gonna be winter there it's gonna be cold like cold 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 and um i we just moved to florida so now i'm used to florida weather so <laughs> that was a real quick turnaround for north carolina um so i am bringing a lot of winter stuff and like sweaters just so i um am warm in those countries and plus i feel like they'll be really good for like when i'm actually on the ship because I'm gonna, I'm gonna want to be cozy and warm, and it's gonna be kind of windy. I'm imagining. So the more clothes I have that are like more comfortable and like long sleeves, I feel like the better I'm gonna be. So in addition to like other things I'm bringing, I'm bringing a few light reads just because you know you're not gonna have any internet for a while. So I'm bringing things like um, Clash of Kings. It's the Game of Thrones book, well the second book in the series because I read the first book already. So I haven't picked this book up in probably a year and a half and I'm like halfway through it. So I might have to like restart it because I've had no time to read. I'm bringing books like The Door, um, Dante's Inferno. And I bought this book, it's called Dark Star. It's about this guy who travels throughout um, Africa from Cairo to Cape Town. And it should be really interesting. And I also have Seven Years in Tibet. Mama Weston's here to help. <laughs> Cause I, told, I said I was sorry for doing such a bad packing job. I was like, sorry, mom. So, and so she's gonna help me out, you know, so this is good. So like, because I'm kind of a child, I also have um, stuff like the adult, oh! <laughs> I have stuff like the adult coloring books with um, colored pencils, so like this would be a good way to pass time. And I also have Uno because I meant to bring cards to give to humanity, but I left it in my college dorm. And also you have to have your scrunchies, right? Sorry, that was really cringy when I just said my apologies, guys. So like I'm convinced like get, so, like gathering everything that you need for this trip is the easy part. The hard part is actually organizing it in your bag in a way that makes sense and that you won't lose anything. Okay, so while my mom helps me pack, I'm going to just go over just a few like little things you should have on the ship because some people just don't think about these things. Um, you should definitely have a converter for your outlets and stuff because the ship only has European outlets. So on this thing, you just, ah, European outlet and there's a bunch of other countries outlets on here so it's very multifunctional and it's gonna be a really good thing to have so you should probably have at least two or three of something similar to this um, I am also bringing a hard drive because God forbid if something happens or if I just want to place a backup some of my photos I could put it all on this thing and plus if you and plus a lot of people they um, like to trade movies on the ship I've heard so you can just upload a bunch of movies in here and boom you can trade movies all you want and you can get movies Another the thing that you should definitely have is a portable charger. I got this when I was in Romania. Not really sure how to work it now, um, but we're gonna figure it out because this thing has like 48 hours of battery, I think, because she's pretty thick. So, <laughs> and, um, and another thing that you should always have, health is so important because at least on my voyage, there's gonna be 670 of us. I don't know if that's students and lifelong learners or just students. But if they are, if it is just students, students are kind of yucky. So you should absolutely have cold stuff 
um, cold and flu medication, just like cough drops. This stuff hopefully will be a lifesaver. Bring some like emergency, some of that like orange juice, vitamin stuff, just because we want to keep ourselves healthy. We don't want any semester at sea to be ruined because of a cold. That's not what we're trying to do here. Okay, so one important thing to know about semester at sea, as annoying as it is, I guess I get it, but you cannot bring any aerosol cans like sunscreen. So you have to opt for like lotion sunscreen. So another good thing to have is for if you're doing a longer overnight program through semester at sea, or if you're just not gonna be in the port area and you're traveling on your own, um, you might take a flight somewhere and they probably won't let you through with, you know, big things of shampoo and conditioner and stuff. And I don't want to rely on having shampoo and conditioner in my hotel room. Thank you. But my back just ripped. <laughs> Okay, so you know, every packing experience has bumps in the road. <laughs> this is one of those bumps in the road. It's, see, school it school damages perfect. you. It would have been, been so good. It's okay, Mom. It's all right, we'll work on it. It's all right. So as I was saying, you're gonna wanna have like little things like this to put your shampoo, conditioner, and body wash in. It's my favorite time, snack time. I got, <laughs> snack time, I have, Cheetos, I got plantain chips, I got, ooh, Simply Pop Tart Organic. No, it's not organic, that's fine. Um, I got my favorite candies. Oh, more plantain chips, thank you, mom. Yuka. Oh, that's yuka chips, wow. I have my favorite gummies, and these will be great if I ever feel seasick, because they're ginger. Ginger, pro tip, helps you not feel seasick, helps you not feel sick. Remember, you have to pack your snacks accordingly. Otherwise, you will crush your stuff, solid stuff, on the bottom, then you put your Creamer. Other stuff, creamer, next to it, I guess. Milky Ways, and then, that's up. Yes, because you don't want to crush the Milky Ways. Pro tips with my mom. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, my dog is joining the packing party. Hey, Shad. <laughs> Pro tip, never think that you're too good to pack by yourself because guess what? You're not. Because now that my mom has helped me, it's so much more organized. And look. You even have a whole bag for that. So let your mom help you. I know you're a college student, but let your mom help you. It's break time. <laughs> Gonna miss this boy. Well, at least we'll take some more videos on Monday after he has a bath. Oh. <laughs> Love Daddy, you. Daddy, <laughs> okay, so we just got the accessories bag done with all my snacks and shampoo and stuff it's about 48 pounds so that's done thank god and now moving on purely to clothes so i don't have all my clothes laid out right now just because i have a lot of laundry i have to do still peep my laundry basket that's not cute um so i'm just gonna add all that stuff in after i'm just gonna pack everything i have here so as I was saying before, I want to bring a good balance of seasonal clothing. So I have a really nice and soft fluffy um, jacket here. Um, this is like $20 at Walmart, not even. I have, a, I have a sorority sweatshirt and just a few long sleeve shirts that I can just wear so I can wear my school. Um, I have two pairs of business pants because after, the, so after my voyage, I am actually going to be going to London most likely to... Um, check out some grad school so I need to have some business um attire and also you never know if you might need to like do a presentation or something so it's nice just to have some nice business slacks I'm bringing a few pairs of jeans um most of my jeans still need to be washed so I'm probably gonna bring about like three or four if you're not a big jean person though probably don't bring as many jeans because you're probably just not going to use them but like if I'm not wearing leggings I'm wearing jeans I'm bringing a few just like nice glasses just to, like wear I'm bringing some just like workout sleepwear. Yes, that's a baby Yoda shirt. Don't at me. I have a few hats that tear up my sorority. I have some leggings and just pajama bottoms. And I have four swimsuits and I have one cover up. And of course you need a pair of shorts. I also have a lot of um, just like undergarments and stuff. I packed one of my um, organizer things with a bunch of my um, bras and underwear and stuff. So hopefully that'll stay organized. And of course, you need some socks. Don't lose your socks, folks. I like to wear different shoes just because I like to match it to my outfits and stuff, so I'm bringing a bunch of options. I already have like two or three pairs of packs already in my other bag with um, the other stuff. So in there, I have a pair of flats, I have a pair of heels, because you just should have a pair of heels, I feel. And I have one pair of sneakers. So in the clothing bag, I am going to have two pairs of sneakers, one pair of black combat boots, just because you never know in China and um, Japan, it's maybe kind of cold. 
pair of flip-flops just for casual wear. And I'm bringing these. These are my off-brand Burks, but they're still cute and they're comfortable. All in all, packing for a four-month voyage. More if you're traveling around Europe after. It's a lot of work and it's almost done, but that's what matters. Um, after I do my laundry, I'm gonna, of course, pack the rest of my stuff in my storage bags, but that's about it. <laughs> So like after this video, you can guys can check out the description. There's gonna be a list of the clothes that I am bringing on this voyage and just a more detailed list of things that um, I think that you should be bringing as someone who's traveled abroad before for a long period of time. Just some quick pro tips and stuff like that. All in all, as long as you have your basics, you have your toothbrush, toothpaste, your brush, shampoo, your water bottle, just anything you think you might need or things that you do use on a day-to-day -day basis that helps you stay healthy, make sure you bring it. And of course, make sure you remember your passport, have a fun cover for it. And especially if you're going to any country that requires you to get the yellow fever shot or any other shot, like we, we had to, um, like to get Japanese encephalitis, make sure you bring this card with you. This card, you probably can't get on the ship without it. And they're gonna ask for this stuff I've heard in different countries at when you're trying to get into the country. So please remember your yellow certificate of international vaccinations. This is important, <laughs> don't forget at home. This sounds super cliche, but the most important things that you can bring on your voyage is an open mind and a positive attitude because if you're close-minded during this voyage or if you're scared, well, it's normal, be, it's normal to be scared, but like scared to like even do anything or try something new, it's probably not the right program for you. And you just need to just be ready just to approach new people and just learn about new different ways of life and not compare your own life, but to learn and take things from different people and apply it to your own self because sometimes the way that other people do things might work better for you. And it's a, just a good learning experience. So you can come back to the United States or wherever you might live, whether it's in Europe or Asia or Africa or any continent in this world or any country, and you can apply what you learn into your daily life and that'll help make an incredibly lasting impact on not, not only you, but your family, your friends, and your career, anything. Um, thanks for tuning in, and I can't wait to be on the ship for four months. Like, it's so, it's so unreal to me, and I've been waiting for this since I got accepted in April of this year, and the fact that it's less than a week away now, it's, wow. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing I can really say, wow. So, I'll see you when I'm on the ship.